CBS Atlanta News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Today on Public Affairs on Peach, we are taking a look at women and the workplace. We're going to be discussing the age old question here. Can women really have it all a career and a family? Good Sunday morning to you, everyone. I'm Brandon Rudat. You know, this summer, the debate about whether women really can have it all heated up and the whole discussion about women and motherhood and success in the workforce was up front and center when former Google executive Marissa Mayer took over as Yahoo's newest CEO and her first day on the job. Mayor was six months pregnant with her first child. Watch this. The former Google executive was up front about her pregnancy with Yahoo directors who said she had no reservations about her ability to do the job. Mayor is due to give birth in early October. In fact, she was pregnant when she talked about her career on CBS this morning back in May. I mean, I think Silicon Valley is a great place for women. Uh, but that said, I tend to think of my experience there, especially at Google, not as one of a woman, but as a geek. The self-described geek is now the 19th female CEO of a Fortune 500 company. In addition to being the youngest, she's also the first one to get the job while pregnant. But don't expect motherhood to slow her down. I think it will enhance her abilities. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, a longtime advocate for women's rights and a mother herself, says the key to mayor's success will be perfecting a juggling act. You figure out how to balance your work life with your family life in a way that you can be the best mom you can be and you can be the best CEO you can be. And mayor will need to be that in order to turn around a company that has gone through five CEOs in five years. And then in June, an op-ed appeared in the Atlantic magazine titled Why Women Still Can't have it all. The author argued it's not possible for a woman to have it all in the way America's economy and society are currently structured. That article was published the month after Time Magazine's cover story featured this picture of a mom breastfeeding her toddler asking, are you mom enough? So are women under attack? Cynthia Good is the CEO of Little Pink Books. Cynthia is here with us this morning. Cynthia, good to have you here Thank this you. morning. So can women have it all? Well, it's a good question. I absolutely think that they can. It's really how you define what having it all means, right? Right. Because it's hard to run a company and have, you know, seven kids and do all the nonprofit stuff, focus on right. your friends and everything else simultaneously. So it really depends on what you personally decide is right for you. And I think what's happening here is we are being so influenced by what everybody else thinks we should do, what everybody else thinks is acceptable or define success. So, you know, we're getting lost in the shuffle somehow. So are women, and we're seeing this here now in Yahoo's new CEO, uh, being able to be a mom. She was hired on the job. Six months pregnant was her first day on the job. I would look at that and say women have the opportunity to have it all. Do you not believe that? Absolutely, 100%. I think it sends out a fantastic message, first of all, that Yahoo was real willing to tap a woman who was pregnant. Marissa Meyer also is the youngest CEO of a Fortune 500 right. company. It's going to be a tough road for her ahead, not because she's pregnant, not because she's going to have a new baby on the job, but because of the condition that the company is in. I know the stock right. price dropped just recently again. It's going to be a tough, a tough thing to bring that organization up. So it's going to require a lot from her. You know, we've seen a lot of successful women out there, even CEOs, a former eBay CEO. Hewlett Packard was also a woman. Um, some of them would say the, 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 the CEO of uh, Hewlett Packard may have failed a little bit. Do you think that there's going to be extra pressure because she is a woman that more eyes are going to be on her? Absolutely, and I think you hit it on the head. These women really are under a microscope because this is something that's so new. Everybody's watching if Marissa Meyer has a hard time because of the organization that has nothing to do with her as They've a leader. They've gone through, I the believe, family. five CEOs in, in five, five years. years, as you said in your report. Who would so, want to take that job? Right. So, <laughs> but if it doesn't work out, everybody's right. going to say, "See, yeah. you know, you new mom, she can't hack it." Which I don't believe. I mean, if somebody is great as a leader and they're good at what they do. If they're pregnant, they're going to be just as effective. Our head of finance at Pink, Little Pink Book, is pregnant, just as pregnant as Marissa Meyer. Do I have any, any thoughts at all that she might not be as effective in her role now and even after the baby comes? Not whatsoever. All right. You know, and, and I think if we even look at politics here, 
Women do have a pretty power. They, they do have some pretty powerful positions in our government. We got Hillary Clinton, and we've got a lot of senators, many of them uh, women senators who, Dianne Feinstein out of, out of California, uh, Barbara Boxer also out of California. We just heard of Senator uh, Gillibrand out of New York. But I haven't seen one pregnant, and I haven't <laughs> seen one be a new mom in those positions. Is that something that you would like to see? It's something I would like to see, and it's something you will see, because I think we're at a historic time right now. There is a new reality in the workforce today. Things are not what they have ever been. We have a record number of women who are in the workforce today. We have now 60% of women with kids under three are in the workforce right now. Uh, most women return to work within a year of the child's birth. So we're going to see a lot of changes. More women are rising up through the ranks and are positioned to take over increasingly big roles in corporate America and in politics. So is there a war between women who some women decide career first, I'm not going to have a family, I'm going to go for my career. It's kind of been that way, right? So then you've had those women and then you've got women who said, you know what, I'm going to take a little bit of a time out. I'm going to have a baby and I'm going to come back and I'm going to come after that same job. Is there a war between those two, those two groups of women? I think there is a bit of war. I think there is a bit of conflict. Certainly a whole lot of debate between women. Some don't want to go right back to work. Uh, some corporations aren't sure that women can hack it. And women have different attitudes. It doesn't break down just along gender lines. And at the end of the day, organizations and individuals, I think, will have to look at each person's interest and skill set to see who will take over these roles in the future in a way that enables them to be really effective and meet their commitments in the workforce and also at home. And what's an acceptable time frame for a woman to come back after giving birth? Because some people will say, okay, we'll give you three months and then you've got to come back. Other moms say, you know what, I'm going to take a year and then I'm going to come back. Should there not be a time frame or should there be a time frame? And do you think that works for or against some women? I mean, I think there has to be a time frame. Certainly in Europe, it's not just the women. It's considered not a woman's issue, but a family issue. And, and paternity leave is very big in Europe. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, it doesn't really matter so much. It depends on the individual again, because we aren't talking about what if a guy needs to leave work because he needs a knee replacement or something like that. He is unable perhaps to come into the office, but with technology today, you can get just as much done. Marissa Meyer at home looking after that child the first few weeks after birth, she's going to be able to get a lot done for the organization because she's going to be plugged in and have the support at home that she needs. And a lot more stress than uh, the men do because they're not going through the physical aspect of also having a child. Um, do you think that companies need to maybe have a new plan, kind of yeah. get back to the conference room and say, listen, the reality is women are having children. Some of our very bright and successful women, a part of this company, are choosing to have um, children. We need to set up some sort of plan that we can, can have continued success and also kind of promote them within the company. Organizations absolutely right. are going to have to do that if they want to retain high potential women in the organizations and promote them if they want to hire and retain millennials who right. also this is very important to them. So they're going to have to be more flexible and realize that you know it's not one size fits all anymore and don't just assume because a woman is pregnant or has a child that she doesn't want that new opportunity and don't assume that she isn't up to speed to do it. And good companies out there will also offer great benefits uh, you know to women here in the future who say no no I, I'm very smart I want a successful job and I'm also going to have a family and they will choose a company to run that will fit their needs as well. They are. And if you look at the accounting firms, you know, Deloitte, Ernst & Young, Grant Thornton, and the others are now offering flexible schedules for women. Organizations right here in town, like the Southern Company, the Home Depot, they have set up on-site child care centers so that it will be a little bit easier for women and men who are prioritizing their families. All right, very good. Cynthia Good, CEO of Little Pink Book. We appreciate your time this Pleasure. morning. All right, very good. Coming up next, Cynthia's editor is here. She is a... Well, she's working herself. She says, the ladies, do not worry. You can have a career and a family. Stay with us right after the break.